Here we go again, my annual recap of the channel. In case you didn't know, I'm Adam Jackson, the narrator slash owner of Five Points Vids. I know, I'm bald and ugly. 2019 was an insane year and there's so many people like you that I have to thank. So I thought I'd run through some channel stats and end with a quick story. Plus I want to squeeze out some extra views before the end of the year. Back in July of 2018, I quit my job as a healthcare executive to pursue my lifelong dream of shitposting. It was a stressful time, but nearly a year and a half later, I can say I don't have any regrets. Though it's nearly impossible to explain to people how I make money, this is a job that I definitely love. 2019 was a huge learning experience for me as I learned the ups and downs of YouTube and the seasonality and that the trade-off for not having an asshole boss who talks too much is wildly variable income. Whee! So now for the stats. I uploaded 90 videos this year, about 7.5 a month. My most watched vids were largest stadium in each state at 553K, MLB's most cheatingest moments at 651k and why did every dual use stadium fail at 909k. My least watched vid was the NFL secret ballers at 14.9k. I guess you guys didn't care that Cole Beasley could dunk. For 2019 the total views was 26 million up 19%, total subs gained 68k up 7%. My best month was October with 4.2 million views and 11k subs. And I now have 11 videos now over 1 million views. Now that we have some numbers out of the way, I want to recap some personal highlights. In July, Urinating Tree and I went to Hamilton, Canada to experience Con Bravo where I met Dodger of Zion, who set it all up, and other awesome people and overall had an amazing time. We even did youtube -y stuff and did a live dumpster fire there and also took in a Jays game. It also marked the first time someone had actually recognized me for being a YouTuber and they gave me a New York Rangers swear cup for when they finished slightly above 500 this year. And I got an LCBO gift card to get drunk. Another highlight was Major League Baseball inviting me to do their live chat on their YouTube broadcast, and it's surreal to think that they would even want me to be there. I did ask Max Scherzer who he thought the strongest national was, and he said Howie Kendrick. Good call. I was actually at that game, which I'll talk about later. This was a huge year for collabs as I got to work with KTO, Flemlo, Urinating Tree, Brandon Perna, Daquan Young, Chiseled Adonis, I Don't Give to Chuck, RBT, Foolish Baseball, and Alex Moreno. I also had C Saint, Isles Girl, and Eric Rayweather on our live stream. Fun times. And Nathan Gravita turned me down multiple times. I do plan on doing more collabs in 2020. First and foremost, I have to thank my writer, the lover of LaCroix, Guillermo Yaves, who without him, this channel doesn't work. Oh, you're shocked I have a ghostwriter? Well, he writes about half the videos here, including banned jersey numbers and terrible ideas the NFL tried to implement. Seriously, I couldn't do this without him as he has the perfect blend of humor and analytics, and I think he is the best writer ever. Who, who wrote this? Also, a quick thank you to Michael Alberto, Jackson Didlake, and SRS Mike, who also contributed to the channel in various ways. And for those of you that don't know, Urinating Tree and I do a live stream every week, and there's so many people to thank. Why don't you subscribe to that after this video, and we're actually doing a big thank you to everyone over there tonight. Once again, I have to thank Brandon Perna, that midget shit poster from Denver, who hooked me up with my management company, Table Rock who makes all of these sponsors possible. Seriously, without them, I would probably be in foreclosure. So here are the sponsors that you probably skip through after I say coming up right after this. When I was 12, the only thing I wanted for my birthday that year was for my dad to take me to a Mets game. Fortunately, he loved the Mets and he loved me, so he agreed to go, even though we lived about six hours away. On game day, it rained and I've never cried so much, but luckily my dad rescheduled and off we went. 
Shay was a dump, but I remember having so much fun. 30 years later, I got to return the favor. As I mentioned earlier, YouTube and the MLB invited me to do their live chat. So not only did I get to go to the game with my pops, I got to participate. For the past year, my dad has been suffering with dementia and memory loss. He's not always there. He has trouble speaking sometimes, but he still loves baseball. And again, we had a great time. After we got home, my mom surprised me with the cake and it was just my parents and I, and they sang happy birthday for me. And for just a few seconds, I felt like a kid again. I think sometimes we don't realize how good we have it and how quickly things can change. I just wanna say I am so grateful to you and everyone that made 2019 an awesome year and I'm looking forward to 2020. I'm Five Points Vids and you made it to next year.